All right, and here we are at kickoff. It is week four of the Armchair Football League season one. We're playing host as the 1-2 and two Packers to the 0-3 New England Patriots. Got a little bit of momentum last week with a 28-21 victory over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Have a few new roster pieces that we want to break in today and excited just to see how the new team looks. So let's dive into it. Coming out five wide here. And he's going to run it with Harris. Quay Walker lays the hit stick there for a two yard gain. If you guys are watching live here on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash half and half, you can drop me some comments here. Uh, I'll interact with you guys during the game. If you're watching this on YouTube later, you can leave us some comments here. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll answer you as best I can. Uh, but if you want to watch these live, you will have to be following me on my Twitch stream. So second and eight here. Dropping back to pass. And he's going to hit that drag to John Ross, a guy I actually forgot was on this team. So he has John Ross the third, who is a big-time deep threat that we might have to watch out for. And he picks up a first down to move the sticks. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Subs are all messed up. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Throwing Jones. And it's just going to be out of reach there. Quay Walker was in coverage, had tight coverage there. Just can't quite fit it in. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. Definitely likes this gun type formation. And Devondre Campbell just absolutely runs that route for Tyquan Thornton and totally doesn't animate at all to make a play. We're in perfect position, just had no idea that the ball was even thrown. It's kind of an unfortunate break there. That probably should have been an interception for us, but it is what it is. Hot routing here. Now he's IDing the mic. Makes me think it's a run play. It is a run play. And he's going to pick up a first down. So driving on us easily here to start this to start the game. Defense is going to need to step up here and hold this to a field goal. He definitely likes this formation. He's, he's sitting in this formation a lot. Screen pass, and we're right there. Kenny Clark 
I think it was, reads that and is going to make the sack. Or not the sack, the tackle for a loss, a four-yard loss on that play. And we get pressure there. He's going to hit Jones as he throws. I kind of wish he hadn't. Uh, we were all over that route for a potential interception, but that's okay. We will take what we can get. We'll get to a third and 14 here. Obvious passing situation. Let's make him think about some pressure coming here. And he's going to take the quick throw out to John Ross. Doesn't gain much. And the defense will hold to a field goal on this opening drive. And Isaac Yeadam comes off the edge with the block, and it's going to be scooped up by somebody. I don't even know who Johnson is. But a huge turn of events for us there uh, to get out of that without giving up any points. That's a huge swing for this offense. We get the ball at the 45-yard line. We're not playing from behind now. Huge special teams play there. First run goes nowhere. David Bakhtiari is not able to hold the edge. Rodgers finds Christian Watkins on the corner route deep into enemy territory down to the 35-yard line. We'll take that. Had pressure coming off the left side there. I actually thought that was going to be man coverage because it looked like he probably likes to play a lot of man coverage. Uh, this one's definitely man coverage, but we're just going to run it anyways, and it's going to go nowhere. Two guys coming up the middle, untouched there. And we are back to a second and 11. This one also looks like man coverage. And it is man coverage and just instant pressure everywhere. And now it's going to be third and 11. So he's going to bring a lot of man pressure, it looks like. We're going to have to uh, figure out how to do something about that. We're going to have to figure out how to slow that down. Rodgers finds Christian Watkins in a soft spot in front of the cover three safety there and picks up another first down.
I'm not sure what to do when you block seven and you get an instant free runner that nobody touches. Like, I don't know how you're supposed to block that up. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. And Rodgers to the back corner of the end zone. It is Sammy Watkins for a touchdown. Against cover to invert there. So after giving up an opening drive but blocking a field goal, Isaac Edom comes off the edge and blocks the field goal. Aaron Rodgers drives down the field with no running game to benefit him and puts up six. Apparently my punter does kickoffs now. Pat O'Donnell is my punter. Not that that matters much, but that's interesting. All right, we're straight back to the tight off. HB base there to Damian Harris is going to pick up five yards. Gets him to second and manageable. Nobody open, and Jones is going to throw it away. And it is now third and five. So third and five, let's see if the defense can get off of the field here. Going to come out in gun bunch. Oh, easy completion there over the middle of the field. I was anticipating those outbreaking route combinations. I should have left that middle linebacker instead of blitzing him. All right, so he is moving the ball just a little bit at a time here. As we close out the first quarter, uh, we will have a 7-0 lead through one. All right, back here at the start of the second quarter with the Patriots driving on us again. Let's see if we can make a stop and get off of the field here. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. And pressure off of the edge. That's Darnell Savage with the big sack. Gets it to a third and 18. Savage came rushing off of the edge. And just nobody there to get him. Running back probably should have picked him up. But the pickups in this game are not very good yet. And so we get off of, off of a second and five into a third and 18 now. So third and 18 situation. Let's give him something to think about blitz-wise here. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. 
Oh, and I keep him short. Dang it, I ran too far up the seam there. Left that wide open underneath. I thought we would be able to rally and tackle that, but I took myself way too far out of that play. one trap and he's going to pick up nine yards so a lot of gun tight here that we're struggling to really deal with on defense He's going to pick up another first down, so he's down around where he was when his last drive stalled out. Taking care of the football has not turned it over yet. Would love to force that issue, though. So we had a hard flat out there. I'm not entirely sure. Not entirely sure what happened to that, but he's going to run into it. This time, Walker will loop around, and he slows him down, but he gets thrown off. That's a weak tackle attempt there. I don't know how Jair Alexander just got toasted by Devontae Parker there. 96 overall player. Just got smoked. Uh, it looks like he ran into traffic. We'll stack him up there. Move him back a yard gets us to second and goal on the two. Let's see what he comes out with here. It's a tremendously slow game. We're at three minutes until the half, and I've only had one possession so far. Some nifty stick work there from him or some terrible tackling by me, depending on how you want to view that. But should have had him for a loss big, and I missed not one, but two tackles. <laughs> That's all right. So it's a third and goal now. He's going to come out with three wide receivers again. Let's see if we can hold him out of the end zone one more time. And we get the sack coming off of the edge. Rashawn Gary making his presence known. It's going to take us to the two-minute warning. He will have a fourth and goal at the 10-yard line. And, you know, we got one field goal block. Let's see if we can get one. On. Let's see if we can get another one here. Didn't get the jump that time. So 7-3. to three. 
as we go into our only our second offensive possession with two minutes left in the half. Just nothing there for us running the ball. Three carries for two yards. It appears that if we win this game, it's going to have to be on Aaron Rodgers' arm. Rodgers finding Watkins again, and he is going to get up to midfield. The clock continues to run. We're at 110, but we do have all of our timeouts, so I'm not really concerned about time here. throws the stiff arm did not get out of bounds okay so 42 seconds we're going to have to start moving the ball a little quicker now And there it is. He has Christian Watson. It's underthrown, or it would have been a touchdown. Uh, I think he got hit as we were letting go of the ball there against cover three. But we're down to the five-yard line. It was. I did fade out of the pocket. Gets hit, so it doesn't turn into a touchdown. Uh, but hopefully we can still put it in from the goal line here. First and goal from the five. And there it is, finding Christian Watkins on the zig route or the whip route, whatever you want to call it, to pick up a touchdown against a cover zero blitz with 17 seconds left in the half. So, so far both offenses have moved the ball at will into the red zone. The difference is we've walked away with touchdowns, which is unusual for our offense. He has walked away with two field goal attempts, uh, one of which was blocked, so we've got 14-3. We get the ball first at a half, so we just need to hold for 17 seconds here and get to the second half. So let's see what he comes out in. Somehow, how does that get completed? 
Wow, that's a huge play for him. The wheel route just toasts the man, the safety is too slow to get over there, and he fits it into a tight window. Now he's all the way down to the 34-yard line. Let's see if we can bring, bring some pressure and knock him back out of field goal range here. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And we do get pressure, but he gets the ball off. Don't get a sack. There's five seconds left now in the half. I would assume he's going to kick the field goal here. So a pretty bad job by me to allow a field goal when there was only 17 seconds left, but it is what it is. We'll take an eight-point lead, so technically only a one-score lead into the half, barring some shenanigans on the kickoff here. And he's going to squib kick it. And Watson can't make a guy miss around the edge, so it goes into the half, 14-6. to six. Neither defense appears to have shown up today. And you have to think the first team to make a big mistake here could very well let this game get away from them. It was a smart move to squib kick that too, because I was definitely going to try to run that out of the end zone if I got the chance. About set to get this drive started, the Green Bay offense at the line. Hey Charles, they got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought the first half they didn't get it moving the way that And Rodgers finds Romeo Dobbs deep down the sideline and all just like that in one play. The Packers are back in scoring territory. So at the 22-yard line, that's a 52 air yards on that pass to Romeo Dobbs. And once again, absolutely nowhere to go with the running game. Five carries for one yard so far this game. Nobody fooled by that play action. Nobody blocks Desmond Trufant. And now it is third and 19. Instant pressure off the edge there for Aaron Rodgers, and he can't get the pass off. Trying to throw it to the back of the end zone to Christian Watkins, unable to get it, unable to come down with it. Not a lot you can do on third and 19, just have to throw it up and see what happens. And we'll have to settle for a field goal attempt now. And the kicker knocks that one through to give us an 11 point lead, so we push it back out to a two score lead, but we're held out of the end zone after 
a big sack on second down. Okay, let's see if the defense can do something against this compress these compression formations that he's been running. So far, have not had much luck. Uh, he's going to come out in something different here, though. Single back deuce close. Nothing going there on the stretch play. Harris would pick up one yard, second and nine. Right back into gun tight. And Jair Alexander with the huge break on that one. Great play there by the 96 overall corner. Just sniffed out that drag and dove for it to get that interception. Heads up play there by Alexander. Gives us the ball back at the 22-yard line, already threatening to score. Rodgers finds Sammy Watkins there on the drag route. He's going to pick up eight. Rodgers, eight, a sharp eight of 11 passing so far today. And Rodgers is going to find Christian Watson in the end zone for a touchdown. The second time that he has found Watkin, or Watson so far today. I really got to get Sammy Watkins off my team so I quit mixing up names. That is Aaron Rodgers' third passing touchdown of the game, which will satisfy the pregame goal, assuming we hold on to win here as we are up 24-6. to It really bothers me that Pat O'Donnell is doing my kickoffs. I have a 96 kick power kicker. Why is my punter doing kickoffs? That defense opened up like the Red Sea. Quay Walker throws his shoulder into that one. That was a very strange looking tackle attempt. Brings us to third and two. Trying to pick 
and nothing doing there on the little 0-1 trap. He's going to be dropped for a loss. Brings it to fourth and three. He may be thinking of going for it here. And he is indeed going to go for it. Ross gets free over the middle, and they'll pick up the first down, and they're going to no-huddle back up to the line. And he's going to hand it off to Harris, who has nowhere to go. Going to be stopped for a one-yard loss. It's funny, I feel like the defense has played well, and he's only got six points, but all game it seems like we've just given up a ton of points. And, or a ton of yards, even though it hasn't led to points. And I'm not sure why we've been giving up so many yards. We've really struggled to get off the field. But all that matters, I guess, is the scoreboard. And the scoreboard looks pretty good right now. And Jair Alexander will bat down that throw, that vertical route. I think that was Tyquan Thornton. It's now third and 11. ticking down near the end of the third quarter. Throwing Jones. Ooh, that's a nice little clear out route combination. My headset just died. And he's in a no huddle. And I read that route just a step too slow there, and he will complete it. Uh, the clock continues to run as it's now second and six. And that is going to be an interception by Eric Stokes, and he may house this one. Nobody's going to catch Eric Stokes with his 95 speed. Reservations for six as the Packers take a 31-6 lead, pending the extra point. So both Eric Stokes and Jair Alexander have big interceptions so far uh, in this game. And now I think we can safely say we're really proud of how the defense has played, even though we've given up a lot of yards. They've tightened up when we've needed them to, gotten off the field when we needed them to, and the outcome of this game is almost no longer in doubt as we are up 31-6. to six. It's taking a long time to get plays called tonight. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, and Walker will run that down from behind. He's going to tackle Damian Harris for no gain. It's going to be second and ten. In order to get home to their final destination. Yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that. 
And that'll do it for the third quarter. Throw your fours up. We're headed into the fourth quarter with a 31-6 to lead, trying to ice this game and get back to 500 in the Armchair Football League. If you're following, if you're watching this on YouTube later, make sure you give me a follow on Twitch at twitch.tv slash half and half so you can catch games live and drop some comments. I would love to interact with you guys during the games. Trying to get a look at some man coverage shading outside against. And there it is. He tries to throw that ball up. Savage is in coverage. Mike could have gotten it if it was a little bit better throw. I'm not sure I loved how Savage reacted to that outbreaker you know, when he was shaded outside. He might have had a window there. We're going to continue to try it here. This time we're on. Hot Route City. And he throws another corner route, this time to John Ross. It's going to be broken up, and it gets to a fourth and ten. He's going to go for it on fourth and ten from his own 25-yard line here. Let's just bring some heat and see what happens. And Walker is there. He's going to bat that down, and we're going to take the ball back over at the 25-yard line. All right, we're going to throw in Jordan Love, get him a few reps here, and see what kind of player maybe he can be if and when Aaron Rodgers decides to retire on us. We'll also let Goodson get a few carries. At least when possible. It's kind of a pain to formation some of these guys in all these different formations. But so Goodson is going to be up close to the first down marker. It's going to be a third and inches. It's a six yard run, leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. And he's in cover zero again. And run committing now. But Goodson will fall forward for the first down. Slow on the release there from Love, but had to give it a shot, see what we could come up with. I wanted to see what he threw like. Do something here. Way late getting that ball out. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. Goodson with the cut back inside there. Now it is a third and two. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That was a good run. Probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? On third down. Goodson. 
and Goodson will rumble down for a first down inside the five yard line, down to the three. First and goal at the three. And Romeo Dobbs is going to take the handoff in for the touchdown there. It's going to be 38-6 to Packers. Looks like he confused the defensive end there. Uh, the guy read the handoff instead of the jet motion, and Dobbs goes in and untouched. 38-6 as we're winding this one down. Just hoping nobody gets hurt now at this point. Uh, probably going to pull Jair out of the game. Would hate to see some sort of injury there. So let's get Jair Alexander out. We'll put the guy that blocked the punt, Isaac Yedem, however you say his name. Does everybody knows how to say his name, let me know. I would love to know. And that was a very weird hit stick attempt from Johnson there. Uh, made a business decision not to go for that tackle. Didn't want to hurt himself there. Screen pass. Read it with Walker. Slows it down. And I believe that's Kenny Clark that gets out there to make the play. Clark has been all over both of the screen attempts that they've run today. And that's just a prayer ball that's going to be intercepted by the man, Isaac Yedem. He now has an interception in like four plays, and he has a blocked punt, or a blocked field goal. So we may really need to consider getting him some more time. And huge hole there for Goodson, who has a lot of speed, and he is going to maybe take it to the house. He is going to take it to the house for a touchdown. The first touchdown of his NFL career, I believe, or at least it's his first touchdown for me this season. I'm not sure. He's a 59 overall backup. He's got good speed. I thought I might try to develop him a little bit, a little bit of roster talk as we wind this game down, but... Aaron Jones, he, his contract kind of explodes next year, so he's not going to be on this roster. Running backs are somewhat easy to develop, but I think the move this year is power backs, not speed backs. But we'll give Goodson some opportunities, you know, if we're in some games that are out of reach, just to see what what happens with him. But in all likelihood, you know, we're going to acquire a running back with one of our draft picks or something like that, and try to make them a bell cow next season. So. Um, Let's go ahead and get Kenny Clark out of this game as well, uh, and Rashawn Gary. There's really no reason to have them in at this point. The pads at the line, ready to go. The way we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds they've had. Ooh, hate to see injuries late in a game like this. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already 
try out some plays here, try out some cover six, some different things, and just kind of see what they do, experiment around a little bit as the clock winds on in this one. One thing I'm noticing about cover six is that little drag route is open every single time. It's like that flat zone, it drops deeper. Um, wonder what a cover six invert will look like for that. So we'll hit the two minute warning. I'm going to guess that's going to look mostly the same, but we'll try it. going to be an incomplete pass there from Mac Jones, who's had a bit of a rough day. 17 of 29 passing. He's thrown three interceptions now. Definitely not the day that he hoped to have. I just thought of this, but pretty quiet day for my two new acquisitions. Dawson Knox, I don't recall him making any plays. Gregory Rousseau, I also don't recall making any plays. I wonder, I probably need to get Rousseau off of playing defensive tackle and nickel and keep him outside. Uh, that could be why he hasn't made much of an impact. Alright, so we're going to try another cover six here and see what happens. And nothing open. Mac Jones is going to eat a hit, throw out a sack, and it's going to be fourth and seven. And once we get this ball back, we should just be able to kneel it out as long as he doesn't call his timeouts. And Savage will swat that down for some reason. He ignored my input to go for the interception there. We'll get the ball back, and we're just going to take a knee here uh, to get out of this one. Let's leave Love in, get him, a, get him a few snaps here, get him a little bit of XP as we bleed this clock out. So the offense shows up in a big way this week. I don't believe we punted or turned the ball over in this game. Put up 45 points. Defensively, it was rough early, giving up a lot of yardage, but held to field goals and field goal attempts. And then in the second half, just they were really never able to get anything going against the defense. So uh, we will get back to 500 at 2-2 two and two with big games against the Giants and the Jets coming up next. we can wind this clock down we'll take a look at stats and skill points and then I will get you guys out of here except I forgot to turn shoe clocked on so we got to let the clock run down here so while we let the clock run down if you guys are still watching here on YouTube um, let me know what you think let me know what you guys would like to see in this series what could be done to improve the entertainment value 
Uh, I'm open to doing some different sorts of things. I'm probably going to try to put out like a quarter season or half, probably not a quarter season because that's already over. We'll probably do like a half season recap uh, for you guys because I know you may not catch every game on here. You might want to know what happens or maybe you don't. Maybe you don't. You just want to watch a little bit of Madden gameplay at work. Uh, whatever it is, we'll turn on Chew Clock here. But let me know what you guys would be interested in seeing. Check out the description down below. It's got a link to my Twitch if you want to watch these games live. It also has a link to our league stats page. And so you can go see uh, standings. You can see stats for every team. You can look at player attributes, all that stuff. Maybe there's some GM whizzes out there that want to take a look at my roster and, and suggest some moves for me, some trades that you think we could make with different guys in the league. I'm certainly open to input and suggestions. As I mentioned before, I'm not showing my scouting on stream right now. Simply don't want to put that information out there for other guys in the league that might be lurking the YouTube channel, but I will talk about the draft uh, kind of after it happens and let you know my thought process and let you guys see who we ended up with out of the draft, especially with all the draft picks that we have. So there's your final score, 45 to 6 as the Packers jog off into the tunnel. Let's take a look at the stats. After we get done looking at this freeze frame of fans just standing there. Madden really loves their cinematics of nothing happening. There we go. All right, so let's take a look at the stats. Aaron Rodgers is 9 of 12 for 204 yards, 75% completion, three touchdowns, notably no interceptions. Starter Aaron Jones had five carries for one yard before Tyler Goodson came in and had seven carries for 97 yards and a touchdown. And, of course, Romeo Dobbs also had a carry for a touchdown on that jet sweep. Receiving, Christian Watson had four receptions for 82 yards, two touchdowns. Sammy Watkins, four for 69 and a touchdown. Dobbs, one for 53. I was right, Dawson Knox held without a reception in his first game. On the defense, our user, Quay Walker, leads the team in tackles with 10. Uh, Rashawn Gary and Kenny Clark both have two tackles for loss. And then a whole plethora of guys with one, including our new acquisition, Gregory Rousseau. Uh, Rashawn Gary and Darnell Savage, each with a sack. And then we've got a trio of cornerbacks with interceptions. So, really good game defensively outside of the yardage at the beginning. Let's see if we've got any kind of skill points here. Once again, it did not give me my points for allowing 24 points or less. So that staff goal must be just broken, um, which is really annoying. But So let's go to our staff page here. So these staff points, uh, we use them to build out this talent tree. Right now I'm working towards this, the final piece, which will make all of my players count as scheme fits. Uh, and so I should be able to get that next week. I just need seven more points, which I would have got if it gave me my points for the allowing less than 24, but I digress. So uh, right now we're getting 10% XP boost for safeties, for defensive, basically for every position on the defense. And then we'll get the final piece. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to work towards getting extra focus players for development. Now let's go take a look at our skill points, so we got our QB1 check-in. So we did get the three touchdowns, we did win, so that should give us something. Yeah, we're glad to hear that motivated you. Aaron Rodgers has plus five medium and deep thrower accuracy for the next two games. Nice, all offensive linemen will have plus five pass block power and pass block finesse. Sweet, so we'll be able to push the ball downfield more, hopefully. Um, in these next two critical games against the Giants and Jets. It looks like we don't get any scouting points this time, so I'm going to cut it off here. As always, make sure you're following me on Twitter at half and half underscore TPL. Give me a follow on Twitch at twitch.tv slash half and half, and we'll see you guys next time.